As you guys remember in the last vlog, Gatsby was not feeling too well. We went to the vet and we found out that he had injured his hip. We were referred to the doggy chiropractor and therapist and our appointment is today. So we're gonna go right now. Are you ready to go to the physical therapist? The biggest tell for Gatsby is when he hides in the bathroom. Um, when that happens, I'm always like, something must be wrong. I really hope it's not very serious. You're world famous? Mm-hmm. My goodness. How did you gain <laughs> such notoriety? <laughs> From being like so that. cute. Right? <laughs> he is adorable. We'll get you moving good again, little buddy. Chiropractic oh, with boy. little animals is not like chiropractic with humans where you get the big crunchy snappy Snap stuff. No, that wouldn't go over very good. Let's stand up, babe. Can you stand up? There you go. Hold on. Oh, boy. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna tweak your hip, buddy. Good job, little man. Good job. Good boy. Who's the best? Who's the best? I've got my thumbs right here on the sacroiliac joint. He's definitely a little higher on the right here. Mm -hmm. So it just means that it's rotated back a bit, but we can get that moving good again. It's called cold laser, not because it's cold, but because it does not produce heat. Uh -huh. Do you want to see that? Oh. Turn it on just yet. Yeah, yeah, it's been... So the setting... What does it do? The setting I've got it on for him is for reducing inflammation, relaxing muscles, and decreasing pain. Oh. So it's just gonna take everything down several notches. Does it feel like anything? Uh, no, they, they don't, here, hold your hand up. You feel nothing. Yeah. They don't feel the laser, they feel the effect of the laser. So he'll feel this feeling really good. Like these sore <laughs> spots in his back will pretty much melt. Mm. The way that they feel this laser, mm -hmm. A lot of times they'll start yawning. That's an endorphin release. I've been in practice over 30 years. This is the best tool I've ever practiced. <laughs> and there's no placebo effect with these guys. You know, mm, when, it, when yeah. it feels better, it's really <laughs> You can tell. You guys don't doggies think it, don't do lie. You? Yeah. No, doggies don't. I get the feeling with him that this is just a little injury he did. These areas in his back are something that he did recently. And I, plus his age, I think this is going to resolve really quickly. Okay, good. Gatsby, how do you feel? You look so much happier. Look at—he's like, I feel so good. Yeah, you're being such a good boy. Oh, he looks pretty happy. So it was very good news. It seems like Gatsby's feeling a lot better after using the cold laser and doing some adjustments. She said that the inflammation and swelling definitely went down a lot. We're gonna take it very easy today and for the next few days just to make sure Gatsby is healing correctly. Gatsby, I hope that did the trick. We can take out the iFetch ball launcher which I have been hiding from him to keep him from playing. We gotta clean it, it got kinda dirty, huh? Do you want me to clean this for you? Oh. Look what came out. Ew, this was inside. I think that was from all the tennis balls. We have these witch hazel wipes, let's try that. It's El Natural. It's all Gatsby saliva mixed with the tennis ball residue. Yeah, Gatsby? Kinda gross, huh? But we're cleaning it just for you. Are you feeling better? All shiny and clean. All we need to do now is wait for it to dry and then we can play with it. <laughs> Time for us to start the vlog. I thought I would share with you guys, this is like the best stain remover for dog stuff. It's good to have this just in case. Gatsby threw up a little bit on the ground. Watch the magic. And then, you just kind of like... It's gone! Magic! It is so good at getting rid of the stain. Look, in 30 seconds. I just bought it at Target. We gotta wait a few more days for you to recover, but we can go on a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? Just another sunny day. What happened to euphoria? Oh, oh. Am 
must be good to feel better, right? I thought we would make some fried rice just because I haven't made it in a while and it's super easy to make. Leftover rice, it must be leftover. You can't use fresh rice. It's too mushy and um, leftover rice is perfect for this. I have the rest of my Portuguese sausage, which of course is like a Hawaii thing. You can use, of course, ham, or we like to do like fried spam on it, which is also really good. I also picked up some edamame and some scallions. So we're gonna do those as well. But really, you can put whatever you want in fried rice. I wanted something like green. I don't really like peas in fried rice, so I'm not gonna do that. Edamame and stick. I'm just gonna add a few. We're just gonna cut up some scallions. What kind of meat do you guys like in your fried rice? I personally like something that like has a little bit more of a flavor, so like Portuguese sausage. I do like spam in it, fried spam, that's pretty good. It's been like two and a half minutes, I think this should be done. It's not that many. I'm gonna put it in some cold water to stop it from cooking. They become easier to peel. <laughs> Plop! <laughs> Ta -da! So, the first thing you want to do for fried rice is to do the egg. Let's use this cat bowl. Okay. I saw in a video they suggest using butter for fried rice, so we're gonna do that. It doesn't need to cook fully just because we're gonna be adding it back. So, Portuguese sausage is very peppery. It's kind of like a pepperoni, I would say. You want the rice to get a little bit toasty. I think it's getting good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Re-add the egg back and break up the egg. Edamame. Add some salt, white pepper, onion powder. I'm just gonna turn off the heat already and then pour a little bit of soy sauce. Ta-da! Looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna use this bowl as a serving bowl, so we're gonna put this on top. Ta-da! Our fried rice is done! That looks pretty good. Mm. The white pepper makes it like extra peppery. Better than Panda Express's fried rice. I think the butter also adds, um, like, it makes it a lot more rich. I'm gonna eat this and we'll continue on with the vlog. Hey, it's Sean! Hey, hey. Yes, you look at you! <laughs> look at you! Yeah! <laughs> wow, seems like he's feeling all better already. <laughs> Calm down, Gatsby. Sean is here and we are going to do the mimic challenge in person this time. You guys in the comments below let us know who does a better job in each round. And I thought we would do it with our eyes closed. So we both got five items each. Neither of we haven't seen each other's items. Which one would be a good one for the first the one? The easiest one. Okay, okay. So this is my first item. Okay, hold on. Wait for guests to stop running. Okay, okay go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> is that good? It's Bert's beeswax. Oh. I would have done. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> my lips are dry. I probably need that. <laughs> Make this sound. <laughs> I think that was pretty good. pretty good. Okay, so let us know in round one who did a better job. This is my second item. <laughs> yeah. Make this noise. Oh. I almost want to just say it's like a thick water bottle. <laughs> I don't know. Correct! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Round three. It sounds like you're crunching like plasticky stuff. Close enough. There's a wristband inside of it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna make you guess there's a wristband in there. Make this noise. Okay, and what is it? Honestly, it sounds like a bike pump. Correct! <laughs> really? <laughs> Ready for the next one? Fourth step? round. <laughs> you, could, you could try doing it with like your tongue like... That doesn't sound the same! <laughs> Does it? 
It's like a wire management thing, but it's like a. It's like a. What button. is a button? Yeah, it's a button. What? Make this sound. It sounded like tape. That's the first thing that clicked, and then I was like, maybe it's one of those like thick, like strong velcros. I was like, okay. That doesn't sound anything <laughs> like Velcro. <laughs> okay, final one. <laughs> Make this noise. <laughs> you guys let us know in the comments below who did a better job each round and like overall who did a better job. Thanks, Sean, for playing. Yeah, sure. You guys, we're at Target now, our favorite place. We both have to get some stuff. Sean, you can't forget your Halloween greeting cards that you have to send to everybody. Oh, that's kind of cool. How many um, Halloween cards are you going to send this year? Probably half a dozen. Oh, okay. It's that time of the year. Happy birthday. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, that was. This one has no bubbles. You probably get less because of the bubbles. Oh. <laughs> they have this one too. Look, it's um, galactic. Oh, because you know, Irish people in, in space. Yeah, the... because they want to go to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> what makes it Pokemon? Everything. Can't you see the, <laughs> the it's like Pikachu? Oh, you're shaped like a Pikachu. It's shaped like Voltorb. Oh! Is that what, um, Captain Marvel? Oh, it is. It is. I thought it was Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Oh, stay tuned with all the characters that appeared for like two seconds in the movie. <laughs> Spoilers! I didn't want oh, to. sorry, sorry. Oh, and Jojo Siwa bag. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> it's a Mean Girls burn book game. Yeah, who's the mean? What do you do? Oh, yeah. You, do you just like say mean things about people? Oh. No, it's questions. What do you wear on Wednesdays? Oh, pink. No, orange. Oh, you being the most extra. Oh, <laughs> you guys. Oh, thank you. You, you won. Oh, they have Brian stuff. <gasps> you can be have the last dragon. I thought these were poop bags. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, last dragon poop bags. Ooh. Because the dragon poops. You have to pick it up. Tuk tuk poops. Yeah. Everything that we need is not here. Wow, it's all sold out. It. <laughs> this is all he found. I got bubbles. That was my one thing that they had. <laughs> so I redid this whole area here because one of the shelves were falling down. So I like took the whole shelf apart and then and then refolded everything. It looks wow. so it looks so organized now. Gatsby's impressed too. <laughs> <laughs> he just like left. <laughs> but check it out, the new design. Unveiling. Ta-da! Wow! Look at that. Ooh, it's so soft too. <laughs> wow. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Look at that. Nice. Wow. I could go to like... You could! Like a indoor concert. <laughs> wow, look at the detail. Yeah. Try flipping it over that way and wearing it. <laughs> See, this is why I like, okay, I like this black one because you can go from like basic to creative. <laughs> that actually looks really good on you too. Yeah. Correct. I would wear this one. <laughs> and this blue. Wow, wow. so simple. <laughs> on top of that, please be patient. I'm shipping everything out by myself and I have actually just been getting like really overwhelmed with so much going on right now. Um, for those of you who don't know, we produce a calendar every single year. And I mentioned this in the vlog, my photographer that we usually use decided to retire. I found a photographer, a really, really good photographer that I've been a big fan of, um, who lives in Japan. He's gonna be flying over here to take all the pictures of Gatsby and I've been preparing and preparing. If you like our videos and you wanna support us, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com and grab some merchandise. Oh, Gatsby. Tyler sent you something from Thousand Oaks, California. You got a squirrel friend. Oh look, you got muscle toys. You got, look. 
spiky. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tyler. Gatsby, I'm Squirrel Friend. Gatsby, you're killing Squirrel Friend. Oh no! Hey, don't kill Squirrel Friend. Don't do that. Hey, don't kill Squirrel Friend. You gotta be nice. Wow. I am with my friend Matt again. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna try Korean fried chicken here. Coco deck. We have not tried it before. I, I just found it on Yelp. See if it's any good. We're gonna get this one and this one here. There is no indoor dining right now, yeah. so we're gonna bring it back home. Soy garlic. Oh, okay. And this is the original, like, regular flavor. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty crispy, too. Oh, it's crunchy. Yeah, like I said, crunchy, man. Mmm. And it doesn't taste like they just fried chicken and then they just, like, put it in a bowl with sauce and shook it. It yeah, kind of yeah. tastes like the, the... Yeah, the outside is, like... Good. So good, so good. It is garlicky and sweet. Sweet, sweet and spicy. spicy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So crunchy, I, I hear it from here. Mmm. I like this one a lot. You gotta try it. It, okay. tastes, it has a very like familiar taste. Oh, at Chinese restaurants, you know that the duck in the bun thing? Mm -hmm. And they put the like sauce a, like on it? Peking duck kind of Yeah, thing. the yeah. Peking duck. That crunch. I'm getting that what you're telling me because you've told me. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's my favorite one, actually. <laughs> we just finished eating. Look, there's nothing on the table anymore. It's all clean. Matt says it was the best. It's pretty, pretty dang good. Probably yeah. the best green fried chicken in the area. <laughs> I've eaten a lot. Yes, and the, um, the Bay Area is like leveling up in Korean fried chicken. I think that was it was really good. Gatsby, become. Gatsby, come. Gatsby, come. Hey Gatsby! Do you wanna play? Do you wanna play? Do you know where he went? He's gonna go and find him for me. I'm so glad you're feeling better, Gatsby. It makes me feel so much better too. Thank you so much for all of your well wishes. We really appreciate it. We are gonna be taking a little bit of a break from posting vlogs just because I'm gonna be very, very busy in the next upcoming weeks because we're gonna be working on Gatsby's calendar. We might post some other videos like shorts or, um, you know, do a live stream. Make sure also to grab some Corky on Fleek merch at CorkyOnFleek.com. Sean ended up taking one of the tie-dye bucket hats. He's like, I want this one. So I was like, what? I thought you want the black one because the black one looks good. He's like, I want the tie-dye one. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. Thank you so much again for watching and for all of your support, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Good night. Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Gatsby's not feeling very well today. Whenever he's hiding in the bathroom in this bed, he's trying to communicate that.